How's it going everybody? My name is Swanny. Welcome back to another video. Guys, today we're reacting to Vinland Saga Season 2 Episode 9 Oath. The last episode started off pretty nice and ended off not so nice. Uh, pretty much the second half of the episode started with Thorfinn and Einar walking back to their farm and seeing all of the soil dug up, all of their wheat pulled out and stomped on, and of course we know it was the retainers because not only who else would it be, but we also confronted them at the end of the episode. It started a little bit of a brawl. There were a lot of impactful moments and scenes from the last episode, uh, whether that started with metaphor and imagery, a little bit of foreshadowing, the nightmare sequence at the beginning. The old man taught Thorfinn and Einar how to netfish, also dropping some big philosophy and wisdom, uh, pretty much saying how now, Thorfinn is an empty man, a blank canvas, therefore he can fill it with whatever he desires. Thorfinn says, you know, can I be reborn? Can I start a new life? And he absolutely can. Uh, part of me is actually very disappointed in myself for not thinking of that, just because it's so obvious, it's so there. We've known Thorfinn to be empty. We've known Thorfinn to put all of his time and energy, passion, purpose into killing Ashlad, into revenge, into one thing. And now that it's gone, I cannot believe I didn't think, oh, you're an empty canvas, you're an empty man. Now fill it with whatever is fulfilling. Fill it with purpose and paint your new life on this empty canvas. I just cannot believe I didn't think about that. I'm not going to go over the last episode a whole lot in this intro just because I really went into depth with it in the outro discussion from the last one. I just want to go over the important points. There was a great comment from the last video being that because Thorfinn was able to take a punch or a kick uh, and not fight to his full extent, meaning that he's dealing with this inner turmoil, you know, being do I fight? Do I not fight? Should I take the peaceful route? What should I do? So we're definitely seeing this change happen in real time on top of the fact that in the forest when Einar said, what do you mean? Like you're already a better person. Like we can already see this change happening we know when Thorfinn's going into savage mode just based off of how his eyes are based off of how his demeanor is like we know who Thorfinn is and we know like we've watched him growing up from a baby he is a much better person uh there were a lot of great comments in the last video but yeah the last episode was amazing some peak philosophy and great lessons but yeah I'm super excited to get in this one uh, I'm really curious to see how it plays out with this brawl we saw the last episode finish off with Einar and Thorfinn kind of going up against the retainers and I'm kind of assuming that Thorfinn took that first hit that way it was either to protect Einar or to prevent him from entering the abyss. So that's all the notes I have from the last episode. So with all that being said, without further ado, let's jump right into Oath. <laughs> oh. Oh, a good dream for once. Oh, he thinks... Oh, He thinks this is real. And the life that he's lived was a dream. So this would be our true, authentic Thorfinn. Oh, I'm so glad he gets to have this. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's knocked out cold. Well, at least he's getting some good sleep, you know. Damn, Anar. Bro, you destroyed all of our progress. Yeah, we're gonna be persistent. Man, I'm just glad Thorfinn's getting good sleep. Like I said in the last episode, I hope Pater finds something at the scene. And the old master will cover for us. I don't know. I think it's a little too early to say that. Until we get some evidence. I feel like all he's ever had is nightmares. Thors! Uh, he doesn't look too good. Dude, it's been a long time since I've heard a real Chichue. Wow. Well, that nice dream was short-lived. Bro, this is so trippy. Old Anar holding young Anar. Oh, Thor's in his old battle gear. Oh my god, this is crazy. Wow. Oh, 
He's stuck. Wow. And the light beaming down on Thor's. And Thorfinn's in the shadow. The people he's killed. Dragging him down. Wow, this is insane. Back into the abyss. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, my God, dude. Oh. Bro, now this is a nightmare. Oh, my God, the voice actor. Bro, what? Bro, this is insane. Bro, these visuals are crazy. Bro, just monsters. Yeah, they're laughing. Is this like a metaphor for how close Thorfinn is to having this become a reality? Oh, Bjorn! It looked like his outfit. <laughs> oh, is this Ashland? Yeah. I recognize that cackle. Wow. Bro, I was about to say, it's not even a skull version. So he's just chilling on top of the pillar? It's been a while? Dude, what a dream sequence. <laughs> okay, so it is just a dream. Wow. It is. Yeah, just everyone killing each other. Just war. All warriors wind up, yeah. Wow, that was basically season one, where everyone was the enemy. Yeah, to Thorfinn, everyone was the enemy. Oh, so he was able to, to escape because he was empty? Just stopped fighting. Oh yeah, that means he is lucky. Because people like Bjorn and Thorkel that just fight to fight. Yeah. But, oh, wow! But because Ashlad's dead and that's what he had his entire purpose and fight in, he was able to leave. Oh. That's insane. I mean, not... R eh, maybe a little bit. But not really. Dude, it's so weird hearing Thorfinn talk this much. Oh, wow. Ready to drag him down. Nah, this is crazy. Bro, I don't even know how to talk. I'm speechless. Oh, wow. All of them? Oh, my God. Oh, I knew he killed a lot, but damn. Wow. Oh. Bro, what a visual. Yeah, that's crazy. He doesn't know who they are or where they're from. And doesn't remember when he killed them. Yeah, this is insane.
Wow, this is just unbelievable. Oh, start climbing? Is that... Yeah, keep climbing. Wow, that's so strong from Ashalad. Well, I just got chills, man. All my shit. Oh, wow. Become a true warrior. <laughs> nice! Oh, this, that's what he's reaching for. Oh my God. Oh my God. Every time. And Ashlad and his father, that's what Anar was talking about. He remembers the dream. That's the dream he's been having every night. A true warrior. Take them with you. All the people you've killed. Holy shit. Bro, what a scene. This episode has been amazing. No, I think just Thorfinn's realized. Oh. <laughs> Which is what we've been seeing in the dream. Wow. <laughs> nice. Nice. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Just like Thor's, man. <laughs> yep. So wow, they're not going to be punished. Nice! Evidence! Let's go. Good shit, Pater. Oh, it's going to miss the button, too. Cover story. Nice. Hell yeah. The start of something new, baby. Let's go. God, bro, this is so nice. Yeah, take notes, K2. Well, I mean, I guess he did kind of take notes, right? He's not punishing this time. Nice. Start something new, man. Shit. Oh, wow. That is huge growth. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the entire episode was him starting out with a good dream. And I was like, yes, finally. Thorfinn gets a good dream, although it was because he got knocked out, right, by the retainers. And then we see Thor surface the hill with a you know, scowl on his face. And he's like, Thorfinn, dude, like, I smell blood. You've killed people. What's the deal? Falls through the abyss, through the cliff. And then stumbles upon a hellhole, basically, with Ashlad there to talk to him. Oh my god, bro. Ashlad still teaching him in the afterlife, man. So is Thor's. Even if they're hanging off you, keep climbing. Even with your past sins and regrets, keep climbing. That's the that is the battle. Bro, that's some real life shit. But it ends now. This is the oath. I'll never hurt anyone again. I'm swearing off violence. And they're not going to be punished, so I guess Katil did... A little bit of a backbone, but he also does have evidence, right? Yeah, like I said, I was excited that he was getting a good night's rest, but I guess that's also 
you know, a lesson in its own right. But maybe the lesson actually is don't wish for good dreams to avoid the negatives of your reality. And I think this episode might answer what it means to be a true warrior, to keep climbing despite all that's happened in life. All the negative things that have happened, take it with you. Climb, keep climbing. I like the twist where it's like, is this hell? Is this Valhalla? Is this a dream or a nightmare? And Ashlad's like, no, this is Earth. This is the life that we've lived, which is true because that was a nightmare, right? Every single day, having to kill day in, day out. And of course, Ashlad goes down and takes him out. Keep climbing. Him yelling up to Thorfinn to keep climbing. Thorfinn swearing off violence. Oh my God, bro. The character development, the realizations, bro. The philosophies and virtues. Yes, sir. Oh my God. Just the way he said that had life in it. Starting a new field? Oh my god, the metaphors! He's starting a new field. His old life got ruined because of all the people that he's killed. The wheat, his entire life, everything that he's been growing up until this point, stomped on, ruined, all the people that he's killed. Starting a new. Oh my god. Dude, now this is peak writing. Oh my god. And now he gets to make a new one, make a new life. A new field, new seeds, new growth. Oh my god, this is the turnaround. Dude, the imagery the visuals, to keep living to your fullest. Dude, even the way he responded to the old man. God, with such energy. One swing at a time. That's exactly what it is, too. Keep climbing. You know, one hand at a time, keep climbing. Start your new field. You know, one swing at a time. Who said that? There was some other scene. Yeah, it was actually, it was the last episode, right? An empty man? The old man said, you can start learning things one at a time. One swing at a time. One step at a time. One hand climbing at a time. That is what it means to be a true warrior. With all that shit on you, all that baggage, continue through life doing the right things. Despite, oh my god, bro. This is peak writing. Guys, the fact that I've rewatched a couple of these scenes two or three times now, and I've already seen more metaphors and more imagery, I'm gonna go back and rewatch this entire show, because I guarantee, now with hindsight, if I go back and watch, there's probably so much more I could pull. Dude, one swing at a time, look at that, starting a new field. And that's all it is. Oh my god. Guys, this is peak. I am, I'm in love with this episode. Oh, this is one I want to cover. But for better or for worse, you became empty. That's so true. Ashlad makes a great point being that Thorfinn got lucky. Lucky that he was able to be a part of that life and also able to leave it all and become empty, right? Because like I said, he put his entire life and entire purpose on Ashlad. Now that Ashlad's gone, he's gone, right? Whereas Thorkel and Bjorn and everyone had their entire lives in the fight. Yeah, Pater found evidence, despite, you know, potentially being ostracized by the people he works with. Teal not dealing punishment this time. Little growth. God, I love this final scene with Thorfinn swinging the hoe one at a time. Oh my god, guys. Guys, that was a peak episode. That was amazing. It sucks that I don't have a whole lot more to discuss about it. I feel like a lot of this direction was very, you know, spacing, putting emphasis on words. Emphasis on the philosophy wasn't event heavy, right? The entire episode was just a nightmare. And then Thorfinn's realizations, the writing, the voice acting on Thorfinn too, the crying, the screaming. And like I said during the episode, this is a different kind of screaming. This is a screaming to climb, right? Like to climb out of the hole, not screaming out of revenge or, you know, out of anger. And then him reaching, he finally knows what the dream is. Maybe that's what it is too. This was the big like resolution, right? This was the big understanding. I feel like this episode was the answer. This is the oath. This is the dream. Whereas all the other episodes, right? I was theorizing on what it could be. So apologies for being speechless throughout the episode and not having a whole lot to discuss in the outro. I'm just, I'm blown away. It almost had me bawling my eyes out. Dude, something about Thorfinn finding new life and his purpose again. Becoming a true warrior. Wow. Strong, impactful. I hope you guys enjoyed. Again, I'm sorry uh, for not having a whole lot else. Again, this was very much the answer and not so much a theorization episode. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I have the full reaction on Patreon and also have a Discord. Both of those links will be in the description below. And if you guys enjoyed, please consider liking and subscribing. I greatly appreciate it. All right. Hope you all all have a good one.